Here are the top places to go in Maui, Hawaii. Maui's open, except for Lahaina and the far western communities that were impacted by the fires. So I went to Maui to visit the top recommended places that the communities and business owners are asking people to come back to. We even got to meet up with three-time award-winning Grammy singer Kalani Pea. It was really meaningful to see Maui from his perspective. <laughs> got to Maui and our first stop today is at Ui Gallery. This is a gallery in Kahului. The gallery is owned by the artist Rachel Ray, not the chef, the artist. Her artwork can be seen all over Hawaii, all over the world. There's a ton of prints here and originals. So we're gonna shop around. This is a great place for souvenirs. Our second stop is at Maui Specialty Chocolates, where we heard we need to try something. It's been 20 years since I've been back in Maui, but this is Maui Specialty Chocolates, locally owned and operated. And we're gonna go try some chocolate right now because I really need some chocolate after that flight. I heard that the best thing to get here is the peanut butter mochi. No, chocolate peanut butter mochi. The chocolate peanut butter mochi is to die for. I've get never it. had chocolate peanut butter mochi before, but I can't wait Let to try it. smother in your mouth. Smother? <laughs> <laughs> it's so it soft and fluffy. Did you guys like it in there? It's yeah. like puppy chow. <laughs> so good. Third stop this morning is Happy Opu. Happy Opu sells specialty manapu. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Happy Opu sells specialty manapua. Manapua, I've just learned, is like the Hawaiian type of bao. So if you've ever had a bao before, like a like a like a dough, like a big dough dumpling full of meat, this it's like that, but it's a Hawaiian style one. It's a lot more golden, it looks a lot more flaky. I've never tried it before. They have ones in Kahlua pork, ube, pumpkin cheesecake, because it's fall. And they also have chicken adobo, so let's go try some. Is that the matcha? matcha. <laughs> it's going really well, by the way. It's solid. It's all over my mouth, sticky. As opposed to? Oh my god, I can't go. Robbie! <laughs> I, what am I supposed to do about that? I don't know. So I decided to try the baked manapua because I've never had like a baked bao before. This one has the Kahlua pork in it. Obviously I gotta try the Kahlua pork, I'm in Maui. I've already taken a few bites because I was hungry. It's super savory, the bread is kind of sweet. We have to have lunch soon, but I'm eating this, so I'm like, Maui is for eating. Maui is for eating. After our Manapua, we had to head to Maui Coffee Roasters to get a little caffeine. It's a super cute coffee shop that also sells their beans online, and they have a little gift shop within the store. I just got a macadamia nut iced coffee at Maui Coffee Roasters. Voted best coffee in Maui? I can concur. This macadamia nut latte is so freaking good. I would like five more of these. I got Maui Blend Cold Brew. I just got a regular coffee. Do you like it? Sorry. Uh, I haven't tasted it yet. Try on camera. It's great. For more baked goods, we had to head to Four Sisters Bakery in Wailuku to try perhaps the butteriest buns in the entire Hawaiian Islands. Reminiscent of those King Hawaiian rolls that you get at the store, but so much richer. Hey! I haven't seen you in like, what? We were in LA in last November. Here we even met up with our old friend Henry. You might recognize him from our old South Africa videos. Yeah. Well, we had dinner at your house. Oh, oh you had dinner? Oh, yes, 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 yes. And then we went out. He came over, we went out. Oh my God, yes, I remember now. Okay, we went out, we had so much fun in West Hollywood. And I just love this guy. It's so funny because we met probably like four, five years ago. Four years ago. In South Africa. Three, two. Whoa. <laughs> I can feel the aloha energy inside of me. Mm. After eating all of the butter that we could, it was time for lunch at Tiffany's restaurant. And yes, we are eating more. This is a local staple and was featured in New York Times 50 best restaurants in the United States for the year 2023. He said that these noodles are like specially made only for this restaurant for the so chef. Morning, so you can only get morning, these noodles here. Isn't that crazy? These are highly sought after noodles. The menu has a strong focus on Korean, Japanese, Chinese, Filipino, and Portuguese flavors. It's a must try for anyone visiting Maui, but even more surprisingly, while we were there, we got to meet up with the mayor of Maui. I think people that are coming now are showing support for our island, for our people, for our economy. I think the important thing, no matter where you go, is that people are respectful 
of what has happened to us, what people are going through. Um, so again, parts of South Maui, upcountry Maui, uh, other parts of Maui remain open. And, uh, you know, obviously we welcome people. I hadn't mentioned this before, but my visit to Maui coincided with my birthday. So as I was about to film my reaction to trying this shaved ice and passion fruit dessert, my friends had a different idea. Happy birthday to you. That was a big surprise. <laughs> I had both my cameras going. <laughs> it was perfect timing. Following up lunch, we checked out Native Intelligence, which is a store that holds a ton of products from Native Hawaiian business owners and artists. And yeah, I had to treat myself for my birthday, of course. I was so excited when I saw that they have shirts by David Shepard, who is a gay clothing designer from Hawaii who I love very much, and I love his clothes, and I'm just so happy that they have it here. I got one for me, I got one for Michael, and we're gonna wear them for dinner tomorrow. Best thing ever. For our second caffeine pickup, we got iced coffees at Wailuku Coffee Company. Then we continued on to Iao Valley State Monument, not only known for its natural beauty, but also for its history. This location played a major role in the unification of the Kingdom of Hawaii. Last Lastly, we had to see the sunset by the best way possible, by boat. The sights were unbelievable, and it was just the perfect way to end the day, seeing the southern coast of Maui. Hey everyone, we are on a boat ride with Trilogy in Maui. It's a sunset cruise, and we're doing a little... A jig. A jig? A jig. I was gonna jig. say a jaunt, but yeah. Doing a okay, jaunt around like, the we, island. We, oh, I thought you meant the dancing. No, I'm talking about the uh, cruise right now. He's the worst. <laughs> Jane? Anyway, Just, okay. can't wait for Michael to get here tomorrow. So I hope these recommendations have been helpful and they've inspired you to make a visit to Maui in the future. And I'm excited because as much fun as this trip has been, Michael is meeting us in Honolulu in the next video and it is going to be epic for Honolulu Pride. So would you rather see the sunset by boat, by plane, or on the beach? Let me know in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, leave a comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already. This is our new channel, so make sure you're actually subscribed to the channel. <laughs> you can follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and all of the social media places. Our links are in the description below and we will see you next time in Honolulu. Bye bye. There you go. Okay. Dip me. <laughs> we thought the dip was going the other way. Can we not make that sound, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> they crack your back, and then you crack my back. Just screamed. <laughs> <laughs> you just crack and fall over. Hey everyone, <laughs> that was Shut solid. Did you guys think our Did you guys think our dance moves? Okay, we're dancing in Maori. Uh, I can't see anything. Well, oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Easy.